Hi everyone and welcome to a new crochet along. Today we're going to crochet a very big river valley blanket. Many many thanks to my testers. I put some different designs and pictures into my testers group and they decided which one they liked most and their choice was the river valley crochet along or the river valley where do I have it? So here you go. There is the booklet and this is the design I or you guys have chosen. And you can have this crochet along as the booklet version. Thanks a lot to Amazon to give me the opportunity to have a booklet version because I'm always doing everything on my own. And oh yeah, this is the German intro I, I did the English as well. And Chris made beautiful yarn kits for this. So let's have a look. We've got the gradient here. That's the yarn kick number one. And we've got the second one, the contrasting yarn, the black yarn here. So there is also a second, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm a bit. <laughs> Excited. Also a little bit nervous to do new videos and we will be doing this beautiful blanket. It will be 1.5 meters width and 1.5 meters height approximately. It of course depends always on your tension in the yarn you've chosen. So this type here is a three ply yarn. We're doing the gradients ourselves. So it will be a gradient blanket and this is how my row looks like. My fifth row. Yeah, so I'm in the fifth row and this is how it looks like. And I will show you how to do this. We're going to crochet this in half double crochets and we're carrying the yarn with us so I do not cut the yarn and I do not have thousands of short ends but I'm carrying the yarn and if I'm working the greens I'm carrying the black yarn and I'm switching to black and then I'm carrying the green and then again I'm switching to green and carrying the black and so on and in my pattern we in my pattern we've got two types of the tutorial, the written and the graphic form. So first you will find the graphics. So I did the graphics if you like to follow along with graphics. Yeah, so here's the cabin. <laughs> and we should have somewhere the rabbit or a squirrel. Let's see. Should be here as well a lot of green and a lot of water and here's the rabbit. Yeah, so here are the graphics. And if you like the written version more, so that, that one that is telling you where to do what, I also did a written form. Let me show you. Here you go. So in row one, this will tell you to do 23 black stitches and one whites and the whites are the gradient. And um, I tried to do it very simple this time for every language and that you can see it immediately. So this time I didn't write it out, but I think it's a very good option because you immediately can see, oh, 23 black, one white or the gradient. So the white is the gradient, 22 black, one gradient, two black, three gradient. So this will be all half double crochets and you're reading it exactly like you would read it when it's in writing. So from left to right, next row from left to right, from left to right. And here this one is row one, we're crocheting in this direction, row two, we're crocheting in this direction, row three, we're crocheting in this direction that you see we always turn, turn our project. And then we're crocheting always in one direction and then in the other. Yeah, just to have a better picture how the gradient would look like, I will show you my sound of the ocean real quick. 
that you can see. So this is row 164, I think. And this is how this technique looks like. Yeah. So you see, the blanket will look similar, of course not with the same graphics, because we're doing a log cabin and a river and the forest and clouds and rabbits and squirrels is actually where we live. And this was the inspiration for my picture, because we've got everyday squirrels outside in our river valley. And so I couldn't do anything else but choose such wonderful picture like this because I love it. I love it here. It's nice and yeah, I wanted to pack it into a project, to have a project of this place. Yeah, so you can have this as a booklet if you like to. I will put all the links, the Amazon links, um, the Kindle links uh, and so on. And you can have it, of course, as a PDF. So if you would like to have it as a PDF and print it yourself, you can do this completely. And what I've got else, if you would like to have our yarns, we will give you the PDF, of course, for free. So if you buy the set, you will get the PDF. So you will get uh, the download link via email, or you can just see the links directly after your purchase on the website. So you can download it there. Or if you go into your account, you can download it from your account. So choose whatever you like most. So yeah, so the beginning will be to chain 350 <laughs> chain stitches because this blanket is 350 stitches by 350 rows. It's way smaller than the previous one that I show you. This one had 750 stitches and 750 rows so your like um, your wish was to do something smaller and this is what I did with this project it's a smaller one but not too small and what you can do also if you don't like crochet you can use this type you can use the graphics and of course of course the written pattern so everything you see here you can use it for mosaic technique so if you would like to crochet in mosaic you can use it for this as well or if you would like to knit double face for example you can do this as well or stranded color work yeah so whatever you like whatever your heart desires you can use this um, pattern to work your most beloved technique and actually you also could cross stitch that one or you could you could use it for diamond painting so yeah whatever you would like <laughs> with that you can do it it's 350 stitches by 350 rows and you're free to go to do whatever you like so yeah so your homework would be to chain 350 stitches and then we'll switch over uh, to the other camera and I will show you how to crochet this technique that you know what to do yeah let's go okay so here is our fancy chain of 350 stitches and i used some markers to have a more comfy counting so and let's start with the written pattern we're going to do the graphics later so you can see here row number one and we're going to crochet in this direction so at the picture that you know where we are and we're going to start with the black yarn and we're going to crochet 23 black half double crochets and for this we're gonna need the black yarn of course so i'm gonna unravel this from the outside a bit we're going to start every new row with a chain one so i'm going to leave a longer tail for sewing later and now let's do a chain one with the new color then take the short black strand and use it to tie a simple knot now let's turn your work and we're going to carry the green yarn the gradient yarn and we're going to crochet over this yarn 
So now we're going to crochet half double crochets with the black yarn and at this point I'm going to work with you as an advanced crochet. So I assume you know how to do half double crochets. We're actually crocheting the American terms. <laughs> And if you don't know how to do half double crochets, maybe this project is not a beginner friendly project. So just do anything else that is smaller and easier. But you can find tutorials on my website for beginners. So just go to wikipedia.de and you will find videos how to crochet half double crochets and how to do other things. So now let's go. Sorry for the color. I know the cameras don't like black but black will give you wonderful contrast and a beautiful picture. So now let's stitch through the second stitch from hook and as you can see it's <laughs> I'm I'm having a hard time finding it. I don't know why it's looking like this but it doesn't matter. Just go through the second stitch from hook and let's crochet a half double crochet in black. Go under the green thread. So that's number one and we need a total of 23 half double crochets. Now carry the gradient yarn with you and crochet over the green thread all the time. The plan is to crochet afterwards a border around the blanket. You can do this but you don't have to number 23. Attention, don't finish the last stitch with the actual color black. We're going to switch to the gradient color and we're going to finish the last stitch always with the other color. So when I'm crocheting black I'm bringing the yarn to the front and then I'm switching to the gradient and I'm finishing the stitch with the gradient yarn. Now let's do one half double crochets with the gradient yarn. Don't finish this stitch. Now let's switch to black and when I'm crocheting the gradient I'm just leaving the tails as they are and I'm just pulling up my black thread, my black yarn and just finish the half double crochet with the black yarn. Now let's crochet 22 half double crochets. Number 22 and we're going to finish with the gradient yarn. 22 black stitches done and now only one of gradient yarn and finish this one again with the black color. Now two black half double crochets. One and the second one. Finish the second one with the gradient yarn. And this is how it works with the written pattern. I'm going to finish this until the end of my row and then I'm going to show you how to do this when using the graphic. So you see I'm nearly done but I still have to go for two gradient stitches and one black but I do not have enough stitches. So that's okay, we can wing it. We are just doing an increase somewhere there and it will be fine. I will show you how to do that. So we're going to crochet the two gradient stitches into the second last stitch. This can happen, these are a lot of stitches, it's okay. Then switch to black and finish the last stitch the last black stitch through the very last stitch of your chain. So number two and one are done. This is row number one. We finished this one. It looks a bit like a snake, right? Green and black. So it could be a snake. Now let's work the next row using the graphics. This is page number 49. And as you see here, we've got here number one and number one, and that's for the stitch count and the row count. And if you see number one on this side, that means we have to work in this direction. This is what we've done so far. We need row two and row number two is starting at page 42. Here is row number two 
and stitch count 350. So that means we are at the end of the row. Now let's crochet in this direction. And I like to highlight every second row with a colored marker. What I like most about graphics is that you don't have to count stitches all the time. I'm using reference points. And in this case, you can see I've got here one, two, three, four gradient reference points, and then two stitches more to know where I have to switch colors. I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So we're going to crochet in this direction and we're going to crochet black half double crochets and we're going to pass one, two, three, four green sections. Very important, don't forget to chain one for every new row. Otherwise your project will get smaller. Now let's crochet our half double crochets. And for this technique, I'm going to use all the three loops of a half double crochet. So I'm crocheting over all three loops to finish my half double crochets. So now we are over the first green section. Now we are over the second green section. Continue to crochet your half double crochets. Let's see if the thread that we're carrying is okay and it looks okay. We are now over the third green section. So, and here is the fourth section that we've passed. And now we need one, two more black stitches. Number two, and now change to the gradient yarn. And now crochet two half double crochets with the gradient yarn. Yeah, and that's my mark to know where I am. And then again, we have to pass one more green section. So yeah, you see, you don't have to count exactly the number of stitches all the time. And I like this so much because actually when you've got kids and when they're very loud and you can't concentrate, or maybe if you're watching a movie, so this type of crocheting such chart is very useful. I like it a lot. So and after passing this green point, we've got to three more stitches to go. Just add three black half double crochets and then we have to change color two, 
three and now let's change the color and then there are two stitches for the gradient section number two change the color to black again so let's mark also this section to know where we are and you see at this point wherever i am i can leave my work like this so if a kid is coming to me and is crying and whatever mom i need help or whatever or if i have to look for the stove or whatever so you see i can leave my work like this and i can come back to this at any point and i i know where i am and if I've got only the reference points, I can come to them at any time. So my next reference point is to crocheting to the next green section. So in here we can see here is the green point. Oh, okay, so we have to change the color at this point. And this is what we're going to do now. And then let's see, we've got one and two. And on the other page, none. Okay, so we've got only two gradient half double crochets so one green over the green and one extra green and then change the color to black again so i'm marking again my point and we're going to crochet black half double crochets until the next green section yeah and that's the magic this is how it works and the gradient will do the magic itself and let me tell you what, it's really addictive. It is addictive to see how the picture is coming out and how it's growing and how you will get row by row the picture that you want to have. It's really so much fun. And for some, the 750 stitches Sound of the Ocean project is a bit too large, which I can understand because the rows are taking a long time. But this one is really a quick one. So one row is done in a very short time. And coming back to our yarns, so this one is made from wood. It's a vegan yarn. It's very soft, it's breathable. It's FSC certified. And of course you can wish a custom gradient yarn so we're doing the gradients as you like we've got a great color chart so you can choose your own colors you can choose other also other materials if you like just please find the links in the description you can work with any type of yarns of course if you like so you can use your most favorite yarn as well but i like the plied model yarn very much because it's elastic and it's soft and I like how it's falling and I also like these plied threads so not the twisted one but the plied they have a very nice texture when your project is finished and the feel of your finished fabric is really nice and great what I also would like to recommend are the Clover Soft Touch. I love them very much because it's very smooth working with them. And I'm using them more than 11, 12 years, I don't know, maybe 15 years already. And they're looking still like new. So I bought them a very, very long time ago at the beginning of my YouTube videos. And they're still like, oh my gosh, like new. and it's very fast and very smooth to work with them. I would like to invite you to take part in our River Valley Challenge, where you can send me every week your progress as pictures or as videos, and I will be inserting your progress into my weekly videos. So I'm going to show my progress for the River Valley and the Sound of the Ocean Cow. And of course you can be a part of this. So you're very welcome to send me your progress. It doesn't matter if you're in row one or row 750 for the Sound of the Ocean or 350 for the River Valley. It doesn't matter which yarn you're using. So whatever makes you happy, it makes me happy. So I love to work with you guys. I love to finish a project together with you guys. So yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for taking part in this project and happy crochet guys. Have fun.